What? Kendall sent you. See if I've gone off the deep end yet? No. Come on, Zach. She thinks I've gone completely nuts. I know that. Go on. Tell me what you have planned for today. Another elimination? Hey, Annie. Go on. Tell me what you plan on getting rid of his good pal, Greenlee. Just like you got rid of me. you do i can't it won't help you're never gonna know unless you tell me i don't feel so good i'm, I'm gonna go to the okay i'll come with you no you actually believe that you can have me booted based upon that confession see this tape you want a copy all that proves is that i went public with your mental disorder the board will thank me. Because they all still think you're crazy. <laughs> oh, do they? Do yeah. They? That's why they want me to run this company. You see, the board is on my side. Oh, JR, JR. Look about you. You see the board? Anybody here? No. That's because they're on my side. Your manipulations didn't work. Now, they, they, they put up with you for a while while I was out of commission. That's true. But uh, they're, now that I'm back, they're not going to turn against me. You should have anticipated that. There's one other thing I have to, one board member that I have to turn to our side. That'd be your sister. Your sister who believes that um, it's a terrible thing for family members to betray each other. Uh, she's not going to like this tape. Not now, babe. Colby's here, and so are the police. Daddy. Officer, what is all this about? Oh, Colby, what the hell's going on? We need to take your daughter down to the station for some questions. They want to ask me about Richie Novak's murder. Do you have an arrest warrant? No. Then my daughter's not answering any questions. Is Jesse questioning anyone else? Colby, let her go. I need to know. I can't tell you that. I'll go to the station. Colby, stop. I'm ready. Let's go. Damn it, Colby. Wait. All right, all right. This is no sideshow. Everybody get back to work. Garino, any word on Colby Chandler? Perry's bringing her in. I'd like you to question this young man, Dre Woods. This is Detective Garino. Now, are you sure you don't want to call your father? No, I don't want him involved. Lawyer? Don't need one. You heard the man. Do your thing. Have a seat at my desk. go somewhere private i don't want special treatment you decided that i'm a criminal so just treat me like one do whatever you have to do in front of everybody just like they're doing with dre yes ma'am so let's have a seat okay you ready for this yes state your full name Cassandra Foster. Hey, it's going to be okay. Right. Cassandra, it doesn't need to be this way. Careful now. Watch your step. Kobe. Hey, you guys okay? Yeah. How are you? I'm fine. We'll be fine. Cassandra, listen, sweetheart, please, let's go somewhere where we can talk in Oh, well, Mom, I don't have anything else to say to you. Hubbard! What are you trying to prove, Hubbard? That I'm good at my job, Chandler. My daughter did not run down Richie Novak. I told you the car was stolen. She never got a chance to drive it. Well, we have evidence that suggests otherwise. Perry, you escort Miss Chandler to the interrogation room. My daughter is not being questioned before my lawyer gets here. I told you I don't want a lawyer. Honey, don't, don't fight me on this. As your legal guardian... I'm 18. I'm an adult. You can't tell me what to do. Uh, no lawyer. Colby, it's just for your own protection. I can protect myself. Let's go. I'm going with you. No, you're not. For the love of God, Colby. Back off, Dad. You have a studio. 
When you bring work home. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. But I'll need a stove just in case Kendall and I get the urge to cook up any cosmetics. It's a done deal, baby. And you'll need a room of your own. Like a basement with a beer fridge, blackjack table, wooden paneling. Yeah, I'll never be going down there. Well, that's the idea. And we have to get an arcade game in case Tad comes over. <laughs> you know how he likes those pinball machines. Uh-huh. And one of those chairs with a lever that the footrest pops up <sighs> for my dad. Your dad likes those? Nah, he's got it hidden in his library. Please don't tell anyone. You want to work on the upstairs? Yes. Let's work on the master bedroom. Lay off of Annie. I'm your friend, Brian. I care. If you cared, you'd stop ripping into my wife. She is pregnant and she trapped you. I am so not doing wait, this. Wait, wait, wait. Please, don't go. Listen, listen a second, please. Annie scares me, okay? She broke into Greenlee's apartment and she tried to get Zach blamed for her brother's because death. she's scared. Okay, she's scared that she's going to lose again. Think about it for a second. Think about how much she's lost. She lost her mom and dad when her when Richie turned them against her, okay? She lost her, her first husband when she found out the guy was a pedophile. She lost me when I lost my memory, and then before Richie died, he did a number on her. She's a mess. Okay, she's a mess. So you're staying with her because you feel bad for her. But you love Greenlee. Well, eventually I will stop loving Greenlee. Oh, God, Ryan, come on. You're being ridiculous. Stay out of it, Kendall. You can't trust Annie. For God's sake. She knows, Ryan. I didn't tell her, but somewhere deep down, Annie senses that you love Greenlee. And she hates her for it. Annie. Sorry. I'm, you know, I'm just so tired and I'm still so nauseous. But Kendall's not wrong. I have been acting a little nuts lately. You know, you men are lucky that you never have to deal with pregnancy and all these hormone surges. Yeah, no, we are. Sure, come sit down. I wish I could take it back, Zach. Take what back? Telling Jesse that you beat up Richie. Kendall's never going to forgive me for that, and I don't blame her. Let it go. I have. Uh... Come here. You do look a little tired. Come on. Well, when I lie down, I can't sleep. When I wake up, I can't concentrate on anything, especially work. Kendall's probably working overtime for me at Fusion. I've kind of become a complete slacker. So, yeah. I'm kidding. Yeah. <laughs> you don't need to go there. You just need a break. I need more than that. What? You know what I want? What? I want to pack up Ryan and leave Pine Valley. Champagne? <laughs> Hello. Hello. This bedroom is um, shaping up nicely. I love our new home. And I love you for building it. I didn't build it. We built it together. Mm. Let's build something else together. Yeah? Yeah. I don't think we need this computer for that. No, we don't. Do you remember when we got married? Yes, but how can I forget? Do you remember when Greenlee had me arrested for bigamy? All right, so if Annie did hate Greenlee, she'd have a very good reason, but she doesn't. She forgave her. Well, Annie has changed, Ryan. She is not the princess bride anymore. Okay, She's, you know what? I don't I'm know not what doing she... this. You're going to pack up, Ryan, and move out? No, I'm just saying I think we could use a vacation mm -hmm. before our family gets any bigger. We should go someplace and just relax. I don't know where, but... Well, what about Vegas? I stay at the hotel and play my casino? It's actually not a bad idea. I know. Say the word, I'll set it up. Okay. Well, you should come, too. You can watch me at the tables. And, oh, and bring Kendall. That would be great. Yeah, no, that sounds great. You don't want to spend time with Ryan alone, maybe? Oh, well, we would have a lot of alone time, too. The thing is, I, I kind of miss Kendall being my friend. And I think if we all had some downtime together, we could maybe get back what we had. All right. I'll talk to her. Yes. Fuck me up. Okay. Get some rest. I will. Okay. Thank you, Zach. I'm here, whatever you need, all right? 